Hello, thanks for joining me. Do you have rules at home that you have to keep? I'm sure you do. Maybe you have a certain time you have to go to bed. Maybe you have a job to do each week, like tidy your room or load the dishwasher. Or maybe you have to stay out of a room, someone else's bedroom or a workroom, unless you're asked in. Or maybe you have other rules I haven't mentioned. As well as rules, there are also ways you are supposed to behave, like being nice to other members of your family, being polite and so on. Now let me ask you this. Who made the rules? I suspect it was your parents. And why do you think they made them? Not to stop you having fun, I'm sure. They made them because that's the best way for different people in the house to live peacefully together and to know what's what. The rules are there to make the house a nice place to live with the people you love and who love you. And when you think of them like that, the rules are a good thing. When the Israelites were living in the desert long, long ago, after God had used Moses to rescue them from slavery in Egypt, and before they entered the Promised Land, God saw that they needed rules to help them live together peacefully. So he called Moses to him and gave him a list of rules, carved on two stone slabs by God himself. The list of rules are what we call the Ten Commandments. Now, command sounds like a really tough word, but these commandments from God are there to help. They are the rules about living peacefully in homes and communities for people in a world created by God. The Ten Commandments are God's way of making sure that we not only have safe and happy homes, but a safe and happy world as well. Now that's got to be a good thing. It's been great speaking to you. Please join me again next week. Let's finish this time together by praying. You can join in with me if you know the words. Father, we thank you for the night and for the pleasant morning light for rest and food and loving care and all that makes the world so fair. Help us do the things we should to be to others kind and good in all we do, in all we say, to grow more loving every day. Amen. I'll speak again next week.